Peace and love, YouTube. Peace and love. <clears throat> Just for more sober here chilling. Um, I made some videos earlier. Chugging some Delson. Um, and all those were today, by the way. So probably gonna feel it here pretty soon. But I love these little medicinal, uh, traditional medicinal um, tea packets. <clears throat> Bring me the sunset in a cup by Emily Dickinson. And to me, that's like, that's just like nature, you know what I'm saying? That's just like a good vibe, you know? That's like, bring me the sunset in the cup. You know, every every time there's a sunset, plants, like, um, they're getting ready to uh, experience the night, you know? <clears throat> then beauty is not caused, it is. You know, that kind of reminded me about how I had piercings, you know, because I wanted to change my look. And it reminded me, it's, you know, it kind of says to me that, like, I don't need to do that anymore. Like, I would, I just am. I just got to accept what I am. You know, and that's what this f beauty is not caused, period. It is, period. By Emily Dickinson. So, therefore, that's really, that's a really good, like, mantra. Like, that's a good, like, uh. It's a really good quote, you know, and it's real short. It's like, beauty is not cause it is. It's like six words, you know. It's easy. That being said, I've been out here for like maybe 10, 15 minutes at most. Um, just getting the sunlight, you know. My dog's over there, you know. We're just chilling, you know, just chilling in the, in the sunlight, you know, purifying our bodies. Cause you know, if a, if a energy crystal, like a quartz or whatever, amethyst, you know, um, opal or whatever kind of rock you got, if they can be purified in the sun, then why can't a human being be purified in the sun? You know what I'm saying? Like, it only makes sense to me really. But, uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Just chilling, you know? For real. Getting a suntan, you know what I'm saying? I've been working like really hard guys just trying to like get up and do things you know anything and I'm very proud of myself you know I might be getting a little fucked up today but that doesn't mean I've been fucked up for a long time because I haven't I haven't been and I kind of miss it so I do it today not not tripping yet but when I am it's probably going to be some hardcore trippity dippity stuff that being said though My dad gave me 20 bucks for helping out around the house, and uh, I think that was 4.44. I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. But anyways, guys, he, he gave me some money for helping out around the, out around the house, and uh, I gave it to my mom because I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna buy weed with this. I might buy some LSD or some DMT. I might buy some. You know, because I know where to get DMT now, and it's really just not worth it. If I want a trip, I got a trip. It's in the, you know, I know where I hide this shit, you know. I got a trip that I can prepare for and do what I need to do. And I did that today, you know. I showered. I got some different clothes on. Brushed my teeth. Prepared some nectarine because I got that. I had that orange delsum and I thought nectarine would be good with it, you know. Um, and I ate it. You know, 
not for the taste but also for uh, the nutrients and another part is for the uh, piece by the way <laughs> but another part is for the uh, um, hmm, the taste the nutrients and the fact that I'm taking it with food you know because if you don't take drugs with food it probably doesn't work as well you know the amount that I'm taking, it probably works just fine, but it gives it a little boost or whatever, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just chilling, just chilling in the, uh, not in the troposphere yet. I did see some slight, uh, some slight morphing, morphing, not morphine, morphing on the, uh, the clouds over there. You know? Yep, yep. I can feel that in my stomach though, big time. Oh yeah. Slight, just nausea. I would say slight, but it's pretty big. It's not as bad as mucinex, that's for sure. I can't do mucinex without marijuana, you know, because marijuana just gets rid of my nausea completely, but that being said, it's just not necessary anymore. It really isn't. It's not even psychedelic as it used to be. It used to be really psychedelic. And by the way, if I ever want to see it become that psychedelic again, I probably have to stop doing it for at least at least a year to four years. Maybe six. I don't know. I was going to say five, but you know what? I probably have to stop doing it for the amount of time that I did do it. My tolerance to drop down, which I've been smoking since I was like... Um, I'd have to say fourteen. So I've been smoking since I was fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Eleven years, bro. Eleven years. Wow, and that's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not. So you could imagine that I've uh, gained a lot of tolerance in that amount of time. You know, you can definitely imagine. Yep, yep. Well, my dog's just over there chilling like a villain. I'm just sitting here. Putting this over the phone. So, you know, so uh, it won't overheat. Yeah, we're just purifying our bodies, purifying our hearts and our souls, you know, before this trip starts. Because this is something I never do on music. I don't know. Delson, I don't take that music next. That stuff is disgusting. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't know why the dog got up. I thought someone it was going to see someone. I just don't want them to see me smoking. It's not like I'm smoking tobacco or marijuana. It's just, it's just tea, but it's probably organic tea too. But you know, they don't care. I, I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. So, don't really want to smoke in front of them. Looks like a cigarette though, huh? How funny is that? Yeah. So this guy actually gave me these tubes. He gave me like a whole pack full of tobacco. It wasn't like packed inside the pack, but it was like stuffed in there. It was uh, it was dropped in there and with my hand, you know, because uh, where he put the tobacco was in my right in my hand, and uh, it was it was quite. I thought it would be harder hard to roll, but anyways, these teas don't do anything different. They they do, they are actually easier than the tobacco was. Kind of because the tobacco I gotta. 
grabbing my fingers and twist it up so that it can fit inside the cigarette. But this, I just poured it in. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm talking a lot. A lot of you probably don't care, but. I like to stay sober and I like to talk and I like to uh, do a bunch of a whole bunch of things different nowadays. You know, I used to just be like, "Oh, I'm talking too much. Let me light this up." But you know what? Sometimes things don't need to be like that. It's not all about using whatever you're using to get a feeling out of all the time you know what I'm saying <clears throat> seriously and to be honest I might even wait till I'm actually tripping to smoke this because it's the last one I have too you know that's the big reason it's the last one I have so anyways that's really all I gotta say guys hope you're having a fantastic wonderful day anyways peace and love y'all peace and love